Good morning, everyone. Who's a cutie pooty cat? Pooty cat. Lala. Who is a cutie, Lala? Who is it, my beautiful princess? Princess, I love you. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome for another workout video with me. I hope you are all excited and happy for today because guess what? It's our second last day. Yeah, our second last day. We are the 29th. So this today is our app challenge, which we're nearly done only today and tomorrow. Then we are done for this month. Uh, like I said, I will be start recording next month ab workout separately. That way, if you want to do that, you can go for it. I will put it in its own different um, playlist. And we are going to keep going with our slim down. Unfortunately, we... Is it an unfortunately? It's not. It's a good thing that we have done, finished, um, as you can see, this week's week two of the Slim Down program. So, therefore, we are going to go do sexy arms today. Sexy arms. So, what should I do? Abs first or the arms? Let's start with this. And then we do our abs, and then we'll see. I might, I might add some uh, yoga at the end. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, I'm trainer Jeanette Jenkins, and welcome oh. to Fit On. We are about to get into a sexy arms, abs, and legs workout. So let's do this. You're gonna need some light weights, threes, fives, maybe even eights, and a mat. And enjoy yourself, have a good time. If you're a beginner and you haven't worked out before or that often, just listen to your body for everyone. Take a break whenever you need it, modify whatever you need to, and just make sure you have a good time. Take those legs nice and wide, we're gonna warm up. Just give me a slow squat, send those hips back, keep those knees behind the toes. Now let's get the arms involved, reach up overhead. You got it. As you sit back into these squats and reach up, I just want you to give me a few nice deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Two more, nice deep breaths. One more time. Now let's alternate arm reaches overhead. Just lengthen out through the lats, warm those shoulders up, but I still want you to come down into those legs so we get that body nice and warm. Now reach the arms in front of you. Good job, little rotation through the torso. Warm up through those hips and the lower back. And now side to side through the legs, just stretch out through those adductors, push those hips back. Reach all the way across to those opposite toes. Keep the spine nice and long, push the chest through and just keep breathing. Your heart rate's getting a little elevated. That's a good thing. Give me four more. Two. One more time. Place your hands on your thighs and just give me some cat cow stretches warming up through that back. Round the spine. Two more. Now roll it all the way up. Inhale up, exhale, come all the way down into a squat. Walk the hands out into a plank. Brace your abs, walk it back in, reach overhead. Three more, come down, walk it up, plank, bring it in, overhead. Two more, down into a squat. Walk it out, you got this. Bring it back in, one last time. Now we're gonna stay out here. I want 10 push-ups. Remember, you can do these from your knees for beginners. I'm gonna try. But to I want you to see how many you can get from your toes. I'm gonna try Elbows to do the wide. 
toes. 45 degrees between your torso and this arm, okay? Let's go. <laughs> no, I got it. Get back up. Breathe it out. You got it. Two more. One more time. I'm with you. Now hands under your shoulders. We're going to get the abs a little more involved. Pike the hips up. Bring your hand and touch your opposite ankle. Then come back to your plank. Switch hands. Pike and touch. Now give me eight more. Abs in and reach. Engage the core, lift the hips up, and reach across. Breathe it out. You got this. We're working the arms, the core, the shoulders, the back, everything, my friends. This is total body. Keep it going. Hips up. Use that core to lift the hips up. Give me two more. Oh, I know you're warm now. <laughs> One more time. Yes. Hold the plank. If you need to take a break, just drop the knees down. Turn to your side. Core is tight. Side plank. And breathe here. 15 seconds together. We got this. Keep the hips up nice and high. <sighs> Modification. All you have to do is drop that knee down, okay? Listen to your body. <sighs> And the other side. Turn the feet, hips up, no dropping the hips down. Core is tight. Reach that arm up. 15 seconds. And back to center. Drop the knees and just stretch it out. Good job. Moving on. We're gonna hit the core a little bit more. Back up into the plank, bringing the knee across to the opposite elbow, okay? Core is tight. Lift the knee off the floor, across. If you can't get the full range, that's totally fine. Just go the range you can. Keep the abs tight. Rotate those hips and cross. Give me 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, yes, 2, one more. And everybody, forearm plank. Brace the core as tight as you can. Imagine someone's trying to punch you in the stomach and you're resisting, squeezing that core tight. Come on, keep breathing out, keep contracting the abs. Give me 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, take a break. Good job, cat cow. Push away through the floor. Excellent. Two more, cat cow. Good, now start in a down dog position. We're gonna go through four yoga poses that all target the upper body and the core. So the first one's the down dog. Fingertips are wide. Push your chest towards your thighs. Push your hips up to the sky. Press the heels towards the floor. So you get a nice stretch through the Achilles and the hamstrings, but you are working your upper body in this position. And give me two more deep breaths. Then come to a plank position. Brace your core nice and tight. Then slowly, elbows into your side. We lower all the way down to the floor until you're flat. And that's your chaturanga. Roll your shoulders back and come up into an up dog. See if you can lift the thighs off the floor, tops of the feet into the ground, and then back to the down dog. You got this. Let's try it again. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, sink deeper in your down dog. Now inhale to your plank. 
Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more, you got this. You ready? Give me one more breath here. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One last time. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And now slowly walk your hands into your feet. Roll it up one vertebra at a time. Grab your light weights. I'm gonna start with fives and we're gonna do lunges in three different directions. So the weight you need to do a front lunge, a side lunge, and a reverse lunge. I'm gonna do fives. You lift the weight you feel is comfortable for you, okay? So core is tight. Step forward with your left foot and drive the weight into the heel of the foot. So no driving forward into your knee, okay? Step forward, land on the heel, lower down into a lunge. Then push back to the start position. Then side lunge, step the foot out. Sit the weight into the heel, push your butt back. Same bicep curl. The other leg is straight. Push through the heel to stand back up. And now reverse lunge. Step back, lower down into that lunge, and come back to the start. Okay, let's do this. Shoulders back and front lunge. Land in the heel, chest up. Side lunge. Reverse lunge. Same leg, forward, front lunge. Side lunge. Reverse lunge. Again, step forward, land on the heel, chest up, side lunge, reverse lunge. Again, forward lunge, keep that knee behind the toe, the chest up tall, and always driving through the heel of the foot, okay? On that front lunge and on the side lunge, you're driving through the heel. The back lunge, you drive through the heel of the front leg. You're like, how many, how many is she gonna make us do? Oh my God, I can feel it in my legs. <laughs> oh, just a few more. Gets the heart rate up, right? It's awesome for those legs. Moving in all these three different directions is also amazing for the pelvis wall. Yes, so all you women who've had babies and you have to get that pelvis wall nice and strong, lunging in different directions. Every time you step away from the center of gravity, that pelvis wall goes whoop, and you have to really work it to keep it strong. One more time. Nice. Now we'll do the other side. You ready? Step forward with the right leg. Feel it out, front lunge, knee stays behind the toe, back is up. I don't wanna see anyone hovering over on the front lunge. Then back up, side lunge, nice big step. This leg is straight, knee behind the toe, push and reverse lunge. Right directly behind you, chest up, drive through the heel of the front leg. Let's do this. Bicep curl on each movement. Front lunge. <sighs> Side lunge. <sighs> Reverse lunge. If it's your first time lunging in all these different directions and it feels awkward, that's totally cool. Each time you practice, your balance will improve, your strength and stability will improve, and you'll just keep getting better. You got this. So yes, we're working the quads, we're working the hamstrings, and we're working the glutes. And what else are we working? The core, baby. The core and the pelvis wall, right? That muscle that stops you from peeing. That's the one we're working as well. Keep going. 
Four more, I got you. Forward, side, reverse, three more. Make it count. And if you're doing this, and you're like, this is way too easy, Jeanette, lift heavier weight. That's all it takes. Grab a set of 10s next time, okay? Grab a set of 12s. Challenge yourself. Two more. Yes. I feel like I did way One more. One more time, one. each direction. You got this. Side, reverse. Beautiful. Now turn the feet open. Second position, sumo squat. Brace the core. Imagine your back is sliding down the wall. You're driving through the heels of the feet. Feel the inner thighs. Lengthen as you go down. Squeeze the glutes when you come up. Now let's add some shoulders. Front raise and side. So we're going anterior delt and medial delt. Yeah, baby. Because what did I call this workout? Sexy arms, abs, and legs. <laughs> it's a state of mind. You were sexy before you even press play on this, okay? I just want you to own it. You have to own your sexy, girlfriend. <sighs> Keep going. Front and side. I'm with you. Eight more. <sighs> lunge, also known as a split squat. Three to four feet between the front and back leg. Straight down and up. Shoulder press. 15. You got this. Come on, we're in the home stretch. Squeeze that back leg all the way up. Yes, I know you feel it. I feel it too. Come on. Five more, knock it out. Abs are tight as you push overhead. One more time. Let's switch legs. Come on, I'm with you. Down up, let's go. Drive through the heel of the front foot. Squeeze that back quad all the way up. Front quad, front leg driving through the heel, engaging that glute. Oh. Five, four, three, yes, two more. Last one, excellent. Oh, okay, we'll do a little blast to finish standing. I want one side lunge, one squat, one side lunge, one squat. You with me? Side lunge. Squat, side lunge, squat. You can stay here, which is low impact, or you can add a squat jump. If you want a little challenge, let's go for eight. Come on, finish hard. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, last one, baby. Grab your mat. Let's hit these abs and knock it out. Starting with V hold. <clears throat> Sit on. Your mat, hands under your thighs. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, decline back. Brace your core. Knees up. Hold. Resist with your core. 
You can stay here, advance. You can add a little more by extending those legs. Reach towards your toes and breathe out. 10, nine, eight, seven. Squeeze the core as tight as you can. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna add a little motion to this. It's a V up with the legs. Legs are gonna open, lean back a little bit, bring everything together, everything together. Two more, okay, advance. We're gonna straighten those legs, if you want to. You can keep them bent or you can straighten them out. Stomach tight, you ready? Up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and our last ab exercise oh. is a hollow oh, hold. Core is tight. <sighs> Inhale here. Exhale and just roll it back, okay? I want you to start from here with your core tight, hands behind your head, shoulders are up, the lower back always stays in contact with the mat on a hollow hold, okay? Inhale, exhale, reach the legs out, flat belly, arms long, stay here or add a rock. Eight, no. seven, six, five, uh oh, four, you can do it, three, two, and one, roll it up. Y'all are rock stars today. Inhale, the arm up. Exhale, over your side. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, over your side. Switch legs. It's a little stretch for your hips. It feels good, doesn't it? And your lats. Inhale up. Exhale, over. Ooh, that feels good. Again, inhale up. Exhale, over. Beautiful. On all fours, cat cow. <sighs> Stretch that back. Down dog. Walk your hands into your feet. Slowly roll it up to standing. Remember, if you want more of a challenge, you can even repeat this workout twice, my friends. No. Inhale the arms up. <sighs> Good job. Remember to own your sexy as you go through the day. And you are already beautiful before you press play. I cannot wait to see you next time. Thank you, Janet. Holy fudge cow. After all that sweating. Oh, God. And we're dead and dying. And this one is just sleeping. Lola, thank you so, so much for cheering on to me. You're the greatest cheerleader in the whole fudging world. Well done, Lola. Well done. Yes, please just ignore me. <laughs> Let me talk to myself. <laughs> All right, guys, let's. It is time to do. I should have opened it up. I forgot. Our day 29. Yep, 29th. 17 minutes, it's only today and tomorrow and we're done with our app challenge. I'm so fucking happy. All right. Oh, that was a good workout. How do you guys feel? I know. It's missing the Christmas lights over here. Bunny beat them, so I have to throw them out now. I did try to fix it, but then it wasn't a great job duct taping lights I tripped over them and it came out of the duct tape so not worth the risk of setting fire to the place but just just to throw them out so sad but yeah anyways Ready to go. The next jumping jacks oh my legs are jelly
um, I was gonna say something and I forgot. Oh, my back is still sensitive. If you haven't noticed, I'm not doing like the workouts 100% or giving it like my, like 100%. It's only because my back is like quite still sore. So I'm going easy and then some of the like workouts I don't want to push because I can feel it. Second. Oh, okay. Mountain climbers. Twenty six. Clapping hands. Crunches, long arms, you can do the long arms only because my back is sore. I'm not gonna do the long arms, I'm scared. 20, and I could try. 20, oh no, that's alright. Uh. Oh. Get, sink, it's just. I'm not gonna do Superman. Hurts my back. I think it's from doing maybe also the combination of doing Cobra. I know at one point it did rotated my back. At one point, but then after that I was able to do them again, so I don't know. And 26. The Cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, dix-sept, dix-huit. Oh, this is 
Ooh, the burn. Oh, the burn feels so good. I love the burn. My butt is burning. Oh. Oh, what would I do to get a massage right now? Oh, gosh. I can't. Oh. Okay. Side to side, legs. Oops, Vendor. I did 22, you're supposed to do 20. That's what happens. That's what happens when you're just thinking about something else and not paying attention to your workouts or to your counting. You end up doing extra reps. Whew, 22 butt bridges. I'm gonna go in and out because I've already did, I just did 26 bridges. So I'm just gonna go in and out. Like when I do the bridges and in and out, One. squeeze. When you're squeezing, you're gonna feel it in the glute and thighs. 22. For butt up and squeezing. The trois. Quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, sept, dix-sept, dix-neuf, vingt, vingt-un, vingt-deux. Ah, oh, wow. I didn't say it this time. I mean, I could have said it, but I didn't say it. You know what I'm trying to say, right? You should know by now. 30 seconds, let's go. Is that bunny crying? That's bunny crying. Three, two, one. Must be death.
Oh no, it is her. I can hear her. I just heard her. Let me finish that. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Let me go take care of Bunny. Bunny bum bum! I know I was muted. I know. Well, well, well. Bunny soft. Bunny soft. Soft with Lola. Soft. Well, well, well. Look who decided to join us. What are you doing? Just crying around, huh? You're just crying around. You can just go up here. When you catch her, then you're all safe, yeah? Mwah. All right, guys, let us, bunny, oh, bunny, let us finish our app, and then I was thinking of doing rise and shine yoga, just to distress a little bit. Mm. Lola has officially stopped using all of her toys and Bunny's just playing with them. I mean, she was already not playing with her toys. Only playing with my hair, so yeah. And the podcast thinks it's not only do the test, get us getting sick. This is not the Bunny, Bunny, oh Bunny, get me, Bunny, 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 leave the. Oh my, I nearly said chicken. That's not a chicken. That's a fishy. That's a fishy. That's a fishy. All right. What's next? Clapping. Clapping crunches. I wonder if I'll be able to do yoga with bunny around. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Quinze, seize, dix-sept, dix-huit, dix-neuf, vingt. Do you guys think that I'll be able to do rise and shine yoga? It's a 17 minute yoga workout. I don't think so. 18 crunches. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, dix-sept et dix-huit. Oh my god, this kid just shares a lot of me. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, my butt is on fire. Are you a happy puppy? 
Oh yeah, happy, happy, happy dog. Who's a happy dog? She always lays like that flat. Oh, you're just so cute. Eighteen. Oh, funny. Lala, what's wrong? Are you just that she's using your toy? Well, you never really. I mean, you do use it. You look so cute when you do flips and stuff. But yeah, you're boring, Lala. <laughs> okay, eighteen. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, dix-sept, dix-huit. Drop it. Bunny, drop it. Ah, ah, drop it. Here, leave it. Good girl, leave it. Ah, ah, stay. Ah, ah, stay. Good girl, stay. Very good girl, good girl. Three, two, one. Twenty. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'm gonna guess you're gonna do one minute and ten seconds plank hold at the end. I'm gonna guess. Because yesterday we had a day rest. No, only one minute. I lose. <laughs> well, since I guess strong, you guys have to subscribe and like because I've got a cute bunny. I got a cute puppy. Bunny, bunny, Lala, where's Lala, Lala, <laughs> Bunny, did you broke the fish? Watch it, watch it, there's my hair there. Yeah, but don't hit me, don't slap me in the face with a fish. Fish slapping me, is that like even a thing? Fish slapped. Oh, I've clear, I got fish slapped in the face, in the face by a dog. 
fish slapped. <laughs> Why is it going out? You broke it. You broke it. You broke the fishy. Why did you have to attack the tail? That's like the only part that moves. Get it, bunny. Get it. Get it, bunny. <laughs> Ow. She's like a shark, you know, like when, when we're playing together and like she rolls, she'll be like using that and then all of a sudden like she's rolling like a shark. So cute. Oh, my back. Oh. I really want to do the yoga workouts. But I don't know if I can. With the bunny around. What's the matter, bunny? What's the matter, bunny? Oof. Tomorrow is our last day. Last day. <sighs> what do you guys think? It's 17 minutes. 17 minutes yoga. Feel like I need it. It's like I should do it. I should do it. Just do it. And then tomorrow we'll do the, our last day of ab challenge. Then we'll do uh, long and lean Pilates and a full body agility. I can't read from here, but I think that's what it says. Ow, bunny, stop. My foot is right there. Careful. Um... You crazy. Ah, let's go let's go for it. The more like you think about it and it's like ah uh, then you're not gonna get it done. It's like do it. Do it. Yeah we can do it. <coughs> oh my god, I heard my throat. <laughs> heard my voice. It's like yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And you can't see it. Uh, let's go. Whew. Hi, Fit On Fam. I'm your trainer, Sydney Benner, and I am bringing you a wake up yoga workout. This can be done any time of day. Anytime you need a little pick me up, head on over, do this with me, and I hope it boosts your energy. So, we're gonna get started on our mats. We're gonna lie down all the way on our backs. 
Open your feet to the front corners of your mat and let tension go through your low body. Elevate your palms up by your side, expanding your heart and pressing your shoulder blades down into your mat. While you're here, just take a simple moment, a deep inhale through the nose, filling the body up. A little bit more at the very top. Exhale audibly through the mouth. Ha! Ah. Release, let it fall and go as you press the backside body into the mat. With an easiness, draw one knee to chest and then the other. You're gonna plant your palms just below your knees against your shins. As you're there, feel that deep connection of your spine into the mat. Oh this should feel shit. really, really nice, particularly on the lower oh back, God, buddy, where we hold me. so much tension ah, in the soft, body. Soft. As we're here, ah. just start to take no. simple circles of the knees. No. They can ah, be big, okay. small, soft. fast, no. slow. So, as we move oh into gosh, our yoga like series it. here, I just want you to enjoy it and be gentle uh -huh. with the body. This one is really not about being aggressive so, at all. It, no. It's really, so, really a moment to settle in, to so, breathe, and to send blood uh -huh. flow throughout the whole uh -huh. body. On your next inhale, reach the arms high above your head. Lengthen the toes forward towards the top of your mat. I want you to draw one <laughs> knee in towards your chest, clasping your hands together so below the knee. So, Take a so. big inhale. On an exhale, draw that knee a little bit closer so you feel expansion on the opposing hip flexor. Take another deep inhale. And on an exhale, you're just gonna gently cross the knee over as you look away from the leg. And you may get a little pop or two in the spine, getting out all the little nooks and crannies that you may be holding on to here. Press the shoulder blades down. Take another inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. And then draw the knee back into the chest. Lengthen that leg long and pull the opposing knee in, clasping the hands together just below the knee. Take an inhale, exhale, draw it in towards the chest. Another deep inhale here. And on your exhale, cross that knee over to the opposing side. Look away and press the shoulder blades down into your mat. With a dog around. On your next inhale, Horrible. pull the knee into the chest, the opposing knee. Take those circles around once again. Let it feel good. And then you're going to grab behind your legs. We're going to take some really just nice, easy going rock and rolls in the body. Maybe your third or fourth one, you cross your legs, yeah, lift all the way up, stretch those knees back, and move into a table pose. So again, you're just waking up, so be easy on yourself. You're gonna press your hips over to the right as you look over to the left. Notice the shoulder blades pull back. So often we'll hold tension here and hike up from stress. Release that, pull those shoulder blades down and look away. And then switch sides. So press your hips in the other direction, look away from your hips and then come back to a nice neutral table pose. We're gonna expand the knees out, draw your big toes to touch, lengthen your fingertips in front of you, and really reach your heart down towards your mat and then your forehead, child's pose. You're gonna lift right back up to table the pose and, the and then reach oh. right back out to that child's pose. Lift back up to table. Let's take a couple cat cows together. Take an inhale, draw the belly down and expand the heart high. It should feel so nice. I love this position. And exhale, round through that mid back, really opening up. And exhale, take another deep rounding here. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart open. Exhale, round and curl. Come back to a nice neutral table pose. We're going to tuck the toes under, elevate the knees up off your mat, so you're in a hovering table. This right here is building up strength in your center body. It'll wake you up, I promise. <laughs> Take a moment here, deep inhale, exhale, elevate that tailbone high, all the way into our downward facing dog. 
So first one here, start to pedal the feet and also start to pedal the palms out. So you're aware of that upper body and not just focusing in on drawing the heels down, but you have this sense of groundedness in the palms as well and balance in both the feet and palms. Can you bring your chest just a little bit closer to your thighs and relax that head and neck out? On an inhale, you're gonna raise that right heel up. And then from there, go ahead and open the hip for me and bend the knee. Just let that go. And then start to take some knee circles here. Maybe you take them clockwise, counterclockwise. Do what feels good. I'm a huge believer in that. And then go ahead and extend that leg straight up. Can you open up a little bit more? Then from there, you're gonna square the hips, flex the toes. Right away, plant your foot right between your hands, bending that front knee and elongating that back leg. Just a really gorgeous runner stretch. Scooping the belly, so I'm really holding my belly in tight. Plant that left palm down, inhale, twist the right arm open. You're gonna feel this all the way down the side of the leg and not just the spine. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit more. Go ahead and plant your palm down on the outside of that foot. Step your front foot back. Raise the tailbone, downward facing dog. Pedaling the feet out once again. So just a nice movement in the body. Maybe you get a little bit deeper. Maybe your heels come down a little bit more. If you feel like you're having trouble pressing your heels down, you just walk your palms just a little bit closer towards your feet. And then on the next inhale, you're gonna raise that left heel up, toes down, heel up, hips square. And let's take a moment to open up that hip. I really love that. It's like open up that hip, bending the knee, circling that knee out. Again, moving in whatever direction feels good. Moving big, moving small. You're just waking the body up here. So send blood flow and then elongate that leg up just as much as you can, but still focusing in on squaring that upper body. And then flex the foot, heel up, toes down. And then you're gonna plant the foot right between your hands. Elongate that back leg. You're on the ball of the back foot. Plant the right palm down, right underneath your right shoulder. And on an inhale, you're twisting that left arm open. So the fingertips are elevating high to the sky. Take another inhale. On your exhale, twist a little bit more. And then plant the palm down and step your front foot back. Reach that tailbone high, downward facing dog. Start to walk your feet forward towards the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back, you lengthen. Top of the head reaches, tailbone lengthens back. Exhale, fold over your lower body. Take an inhale, arms rise high to the sky. And then exhale, connect your thumbs right into the beat of your heart. Take an inhale, lift up nice and high. Exhale, swan dive the body down. Flat back, inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, connecting the palms, one foot back and then the other. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, on an inhale, raise that right heel up. Open the hip, bend the knee, play a little bit. And right away, lengthen the leg back up, square the hips, the toes. Plant the foot right between your hands. Angle the back heel down, rising up to warrior one. Ah, first real standing posture and pose here. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale, ground down. So focus in on the footwork, front toes forward, back foot angled at that 45 Bunny, degree angle. Uh, uh, Take another deep inhale. Exhale, clasp Bunny. your hands together behind your back. So we're gonna reach our knuckles down past our tailbone, maintaining the bend in the front knee, elevating the heart open. So I love those heart openers because emotionally you feel it. And then watch now as we fold inside that front leg, humble warrior. Reaching those arms up and over, relaxing the head and neck, releasing tension there. Let it go. Can you bring your palms closer together? Then on an inhale, rise all the way back up. 
And then move into a warrior two. You're set up right there. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, get a little bit more grounded. So we've got the down, the up. Now our blood is really flowing through the body. We're going to bring our back arm forward and rotate onto the ball of the back foot. Scooping the belly in tight, hips square, shoulders square, fingertips long. This is our grounded warrior three. Let's sweep those arms back behind us, giving our shoulders a little bit of a moment. And then again, visualize those shoulder blades lengthening back, pulling away from our ears. Inhale, arms rise up, crescent lunge, elongating that back leg. Let's move into a twist once again. That back arm reaches all the way out, twisting that spine. On an inhale, we rise all the way up. Crescent, can you elongate that front leg? Bend into the front knee, plant the palms, step that front foot back, raise that tailbone, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, raise that left heel up, toes down, heel up, open the hip, bend the knee, moving a little bit quicker, lengthening uh -huh. that leg, squaring the it. hips. And then on an exhale, go ahead and plant your foot right between your hands. Angle that back heel down. On an inhale, we rise up to our warrior one. So squaring hips, shoulders, inhale, exhale, get a little bit deeper. Clasp your hands behind you. So notice now you can really see the knuckles reaching down past that tailbone, expanding that heart all the way up. Inhale, exhale, humble warrior. And I'll tell you something, it is humbling because this is a very challenging posture. This will indeed wake you up physically, which in turn wakes you up mentally, <laughs> lengthening up and over. Take another deep breath. On the exhale, get a little bit lower. As you rise up, you're moving right into that gorgeous warrior two. Get deeper here. Feel all four corners of either foot really rooted down into your mat. Let's go ahead and rotate onto the ball of the back foot and bring our back arm forward, lengthening the arms in front of us. Rounded warrior three. Sweeping the arms back behind us like wings, hovering over that front thigh, scooping the belly in, really monitoring every little inch of the body here. Rise all the way up, crescent lunge. So opening that body up, lengthen into the front leg, bend the knee, plant the palms, step your front foot back and hold on this one. Hold right here, nice and strong. Lower down to the knees, bend into the elbows right away, untuck the toes, cobra with no weight into the palms. Can you lift them up off your mat? Focus is forward, fold down. Inhale, lift up, upward facing dog, wake up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedaling into the feet here, relaxing the head and neck. Walk your feet gently forward to the top of your mat. Bend into your knees. Inhale, flat back, we lengthen. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise all the way up. Exhale, let's connect the thumbs right into our heartbeat. Take another deep inhale, arms rise all the way up. Palms connect at the top. Let's take a heart opener here, really expanding. Feeling a sense of balance from the bottoms of the feet through the ankles, knees, la, la, hips, uh, uh. heart, uh, uh, la, la. shoulders. Rise all the way up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Nice and easy here. We're gonna lift our right leg up. Place the bottom of the foot to the inside of your left. We're gonna work a little balance in the body to really get that body in motion and also the mind in motion. So here, this may be enough. If you want, plant your thumbs right into the beat of your heart. If you want a little bit more, elevate the arms up overhead. Maybe your foot doesn't wanna lift all the way up today. You can place it just above that ankle as an option. Trying to never press into that knee. That's for the safety of your joints and your body. Otherwise, lift it all the way up here and then test it out. 
See where you're at today, and then plant your thumbs right into your heartbeat. Inhale. Exhale, release. And then draw that foot all the way down. You have one more leg, lucky you, so reach that foot all the way up. Maybe oh, it goes up into that legs. inner thigh. And then notice where you are balance-wise in the body. Maybe one side is, feels a little bit more stable than the other. Palms and heart center, hold. Reach your arms up overhead if that feels right. Hold, inhale. Exhale, expand that knee out just a little bit more. Plant that foot down. Kind of shake it out a little bit here. Let it go. Three deep, beautiful breaths together so we feel alive and awake. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, thumbs right through the beat of our hearts. Inhale, rise up, connecting the palms and then the thumbs to the heartbeat. One more time, inhale, we rise, connecting here and then right here where we're lucky enough to elevate the heart and feel the body working in this way. I hope your energy is elevated now, blood's flowing through that body and you have a deeper appreciation for the way your body can move. Thank you, Fit On Fam. I'm your trainer, Sydney Benner, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I feel so happy, relaxed, I'm like so happy and relaxed, it's actually getting me a bit emotional. What is wrong with me? Oh boy! Oh my god, you guys have to see that. You have to see that, like, if I have time to show you. Oh my god, I'm, my hands are like jelly, I can't even show. Bunny, what are you doing? Bunny! Oh, she's trying to pull on that. <laughs> what are you doing, huh? Oh, are you scared? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're not gonna go next to Bunny. It's okay, it's okay, go back. Go back. Okay, chill, chill. I'm not gonna get you to go next to Bunny. It's okay, it's okay. Bunny, Bunny. Oh my God, she got so strong. She got a very good bite on her. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna let you do something that you're not comfortable with. I protect you. I love you. Yeah. Oh, anyways, guys, stop watching the dog and the cat, okay? I'm more important. I'm joking. I hope that you had a great workout with me, and I will see you guys back tomorrow, our last day of the 30-day challenge, and just like promised, for the next month, I'll be doing level two for abs workout, ab 30 day ab challenge. So I hope you guys will be joining me then. I will be recording it separately. That way you get only the ab challenge, 30 day ab challenge um, separate. And until next time, have all a fun, fantastic day night from wherever you are thank you so much for hanging out with me working out with me for your likes for your comments and for your subs i love you bye guys see you guys tomorrow oh boy poor cat poor poor lala oh my gosh bunny's still going nuts down here look at that bunny bunny Bunny, bunny, she's a cat. That dog is a cat, oh my God. <laughs> Lola is trying to say, is praying for her life. She's like, I'm gonna die. Bunny, what are you doing? Are you stuck? If you let go, you're not gonna be stuck anymore. No, she's not stuck guys, she's not stuck. She's all right, she's all right. 
Anyways, guys, see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Lola's curious now. Lola's curious. Oh, what's she gonna do? No, she's just gonna get away. Is she? No, she's watching her. Ah, oh, there's a fight. There's a fight happening. Is there gonna be a fight happening? Where's it gonna... What's happening? Where's it going on? I'm commentating on this. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.